This is Seth David from SchoolofBookkeeping.com bringing to you a very special screencast. This one's called QBO versus QB Cloud Hosted. Every once in a while, about every five minutes, somebody forwards me an email with a question about QuickBooks or some such related topic. And every once in a while, I, well, I, I actually do look at all those emails. But every once in a while, one catches my attention as something that strikes me as, hey, I should do a video about that. This is one of those occasions. And it's a question, and the reason I think it caught my attention is because it's a question that's being asked a lot, and it's being asked more and more often, especially now as we get into questions about, hey, what's the deal with the cloud, and how do I get there, and you know, should I go there? Can it work for my business? So I thought I'd spend a few minutes talking about that and maybe demonstrating something about it. So the question here that we're looking at again is probably one of the more common questions under the broader topic of accounting in the cloud is what is the difference and what are the pros and cons of using the QuickBooks Online Edition which is the cloud-based edition of QuickBooks that runs in your browser compared with taking a desktop edition of QuickBooks and hosting that in the cloud. What's the difference between the two? Well, on the surface, the difference is that I'm, I'm using, it's, it's two very different programs, right? In one instance, as I said, I'm using QuickBooks Online Edition, and that is a QuickBooks edition that runs in your browser. It's a completely different user interface, and, uh, and it does things differently, and it looks very different. It doesn't look anything like the desktop edition, and it, and it shouldn't. It's, it's on a whole different footing right then we have the desktop edition which is what many of us are accustomed to so one of the pros for example of using a hosted desktop edition meaning it's hosted in the cloud is that um, it's, it's familiar right I know the product already I know how to use it I don't have to learn something new so that's a big pro on the pro side of using a hosted uh, you know taking a desktop edition and hosting in the cloud now what does that really mean it means just that it means I'm running QuickBooks Pro Premier Enterprise whatever it is that I'm accustomed to running to but instead of running it locally on my computer there are hosting companies like Cloud9 Realtime, Unidata, Right Networks those are the three kind of first ones that pop into my mind because I know that those are all accredited by Intuit uh, in other words, Intuit has taken a look and made sure that your data is safe, let's just say, to keep it simple, um, with those services. There are others, but the important thing is to make sure if you're going to choose one of these services that it is sort of uh, certified by Intuit. They have to go through a process where Intuit sort of audits their setup to make sure that, you know, they want to make sure that if people are hosting their product, that they're doing it responsibly. So make sure that that certification is there when you're choosing one of these companies. But what does it mean? It means I'm taking that, there's no difference between what I'm used to using on my own computer and what I'm now using on the cloud. If you've ever used a remote desktop connection on a PC to access another PC, it works very much the same as that. Off the cloud. Okay, here it is. I'll click OK. Okay, it wants me to uh, set up a company file. Let me cancel this. Okay, and let's just open a quick sample company file. And QuickBooks is gonna do its thing. And as you can see, you're watching it happen right on my screen. It's no different than running it locally on my computer. I'm running QuickBooks in the cloud. But again, just to kind of show you what we're looking at here, this is no different than running QuickBooks locally on my computer. And it runs, my concern always is, does it run seamlessly? Is there going to be a delay? As you can see, there's no delay. I want to go to my customer center. Boom, customer center comes right up. No delay, no problems running QuickBooks in the cloud. In fact, that's the exact technology that most of them are using, where you're essentially doing a remote desktop into a server somewhere else that other people can also access, and everybody's got their own login and user ID. So you can have multiple people concurrently logged in. Of course, you got to pay for the licenses, and the cl cloud hosting companies will make sure that you've paid for whatever number of licenses you're trying to use. And then, of course, there's a fee per user for the cloud hosting service itself. So there's your downside to doing a hosted version, uh, doing a hosted desktop edition of QuickBooks in the cloud is that it can start to get expensive. If you have three users, typical monthly fee is about $50 per month per user. So three users is $150 per month. 
just to have QuickBooks hosted in the cloud. Now, the one thing that I think, frankly, these cloud hosting companies do a poor job of explaining uh, in order to help sort of sell their own product is that when you're doing when you're when you're going to a hosted solution like this it's not just for quickbooks you can put all of your files you can run microsoft office off of that server and have all your files you know hosted in the cloud what does that do it say goodbye to your it costs you no longer need it people coming into your office and helping work on your infrastructure because the hosting company is the one who's providing you with all of that and it's their servers so they're the ones with the it headaches now the only problem you have is, is if something goes wrong and you can't log in. But their downtime is, or I should say their uptime, is pretty well guaranteed. And the nice thing is that these companies have the budget, frankly, to pay for the infrastructure so that they have multiple redundant backups. So you really don't ever see downtime. And I think most of them pretty much will guarantee that. Just double check on their website or when you call and talk to their salesperson, make sure uh, about any guarantees they make about uptime. Because obviously that can be very disruptive if you can't access your files, especially if you've made the commitment to put all your files on there. So another upside to having a hosted solution is it's not just for QuickBooks. You can put everything there. <clears throat> Again, downside so far, the one big one is that it's, you know, it's, it's costly. It can cost a lot of money. So, and that's of course something that goes over logically onto the pro side of QuickBooks Online Edition is that it's not as expensive as hosting a desktop edition in the cloud. QuickBooks Online, let's face it, if you, you're gonna go beyond the most basic, which I always end up telling my customers to, you're going to be spending, let's just call it 40 to $50 a month. So it's gonna be about $600 a year. If you're using QuickBooks Pro on the desktop, that's, and assuming you upgrade that every year, then you're, you know, you're spending a lot more money using QuickBooks Online versus using the desktop. But you don't have the advantage of having it somewhere centrally located that other people can log in and be in there at the same time working on the stuff. You know, even having QuickBooks Pro on a local desktop, you're simply going to be able to work in a local area network environment so people can come into your office. Or you can use something like go to my PC and have somebody log in remotely like that. But of course, that uses up a desktop space and a computer at your office while the remote person is logged in. So it's almost not really much better better than having them be in your office taking up that space because nobody else can use it, right? So <clears throat> again, pros and cons, you know, there's upsides and downsides to both. So let me bottom line it for you so that this video doesn't go on for 20 minutes. As far as, far as I'm concerned, which should you choose and when or why should you choose one or the other, right? My answer to you right now is if at all possible, go with QuickBooks Online. <clears throat> because there are many advantages. Yes, there'll be a learning curve, but I'm sure you'll get over it quickly, especially if you're already accustomed to using QuickBooks and if you've taken the time in the past. You know, it's still accounting software. It's still the same basic things you're looking to learn to do. It just It's a different interface, so you're clicking somewhere else to get there, perhaps. So my suggestion is, if at all possible, go to QuickBooks Online. You'll save money over hosting, and you'll get all the advantages that, that which are the reasons why we go to anything that's cloud-based, which is the, you know, sort of collaborative environment, online access from anywhere, and not have to worry about the IT headaches of a file getting corrupt or anything like that, right? Now you're using QuickBooks Online, it's QuickBooks Online's headache. So QuickBooks Online would be my first choice if possible. So why isn't QuickBooks Online possible? Major considerations these days, and I say this a lot, and I'm gonna keep saying it until the online accounting products change. <clears throat> uh, so the major limitations on, on QuickBooks Online, and by the way, this is true for all of the online accounting products, Zero, Wave Accounting, you know, any online accounting products has these same limitations I'm about to mention, not just QuickBooks. Um, <clears throat> not very good sophisticated inventory tracking capability and not very good sophisticated job costing ability. Those are the two majors. Can't do progress billing. There's a workaround for QuickBooks Online. Frankly, I don't like it. It's not compelling enough for me to want to switch to QuickBooks Online and use that workaround. I would be much more inclined to tell my construction clients to switch to QuickBooks Online when in fact they have the same kind of infrastructure that the desktop edition has, such as the ability to create an estimate and bill off of that estimate in pieces and incur costs and use items to drive costs so that it can be compared with the cost that was on that same estimate so I can do proper job costing reports in QuickBooks Online. When that infrastructure is in place, I'm gonna tell all of my contractor clients, go to QuickBooks Online. We're, we're there, we're ready, we're, we're done with the desktop edition. Uh, until that happens, not gonna happen. There are add-ons, there's SOS inventory, for example, that gives you some of the complex features that QuickBooks Online alone is missing. 
Um, but then the downside to SOS inventory is it's very expensive. I don't think you're getting out the door for under $3,000 and very likely going to get up higher than that before you really have everything you need to get it running the way you want. So at that point, it's much cheaper to do a hosted solution of QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions because I can pay $3,000 for that software, get a five-user license, put on the advanced inventory for another $1,000. But now I can have five people working in a product that's really built to do this stuff. So rather than using an add-on to another program and so on and so forth. So again, this is all just my opinion based on my experience. You're, you're invited to disagree with me and please post your comments and questions below. I'd be more than happy to talk about this in greater detail and at greater length. Disagree with me? Come on my Google Hangout on Fridays and let's go head to head. I'd love that. Or just reach out to me and we can schedule a special session on your opinion versus mine on online versus hosted solution and why or why not you think one is better than the other and when or why somebody can switch from one or the other or should switch from one or the other. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you at schoolofbookkeeping.com.